What's going on guys? Welcome back. We're about to start game two of my best of three set versus Brangon, who's running standard big six from what I can tell. I didn't get a ton of information from that game. Um, but yeah, Prangon, once again, a really phenomenal player, a really scary player, just um, like past Worlds competitor, maybe multiple times, I'm not totally sure, I'm not super solid on all my facts, but he's like a really solid, uh, a really strong player, he's obviously 5-0 in the major, which is like a really tough uh, online tournament, and I don't know, yeah, that was that was a game one where, I, although I did win, I had to give up a lot of information to do so, such as the Sludge Bomb and Icy Wind on my, on my Gengar, which are like really valuable versus his team. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely like looking forward to this game and also a little nervous because Prango is the kind of player who could definitely adapt. And with Big Six, they have so many um, options for like their the versatility is so high that they can really like go like a lot of different ways with it and still be fine. Um, I'm really like kind of tempted to bring Kangaskhan this game, hey, Kangaskhan Smeargle to be specific. Um, but my my other my other team did do really well game one. It's just like it's really just a mind game, right? Like if he doesn't lead Kangaskhan, then I feel really solid about this. But I think he's probably gonna lead Kangaskhan. But like I don't really like I don't really see a better option to be honest. I guess I'll just go. Do I need Groudon here? I don't technically need Groudon. I could actually bring Gengar. That's weird. Mm. Okay, let me think. One second. I'm gonna have a lot of trouble versus that Xerneas if I don't bring Groudon. But even with Groudon, I'm gonna have some trouble. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, I'm gonna bring Groudon because I'm afraid of Talonflame. Oh, I didn't even think about Talonflame. If he leads Talonflame here, I'm gonna be in kind of some trouble, to be honest, fam. Oh, I said it again. RIP. Okay. <sighs> Jumping into it. Let's see what he brings. Ideally, not Talonflame or Kangaskhan would be great. Um, that being said, it's probably both. What? <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's so nuts. That's so crazy. Okay. All right, you want quadruple Mega Prang? I'll give you quadruple. Don't have Gengar. Ah, that'd be problematic. Okay, gotta think about this one. Protect Pup, solid. Um, I really want this Tailwind though. Does he read that? Uh, hold on. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna take a risk here and. Um, try and make the guess that because it's so obvious, the because okay. I, first of all, I think the ments. If this goes wrong, I think I lose though. I'll be in a lot of trouble because I won't have the speed advantage. I'm just gonna make the read. Um, yeah, it is Mega Salamence, so I think actually this is a very bad turn for me. And I really wish I had. I guess he was expecting the Gengar. And I, I don't think this is a good move in any situation. Um. I wonder what he does. Okay, I'm gonna get the fake out off, but at a cost probably, and the cost is probably the sash on my Smeargle. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, it was it was too risky. It wasn't gonna work like ever. <laughs> Better hope for Moody, I guess. That's dumb. <laughs> um, okay, I guess I'll just go for Dark Wood stuff. I deserve that. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, oh, this could be bad actually. This could be very bad. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Ah! So that, that's, with all likelihood, that is um, a Mega Kangaskhan. Just masquerading as it's normal for me. Um, I do need to get rid of this ment. I think that's like pretty significant at the moment. So I can go swords dance, power up punch. Um, I can go power up. Uh, I, I, need, I don't know. Plus, I don't think plus three sucker punch will KO that ment. Right? We probably shouldn't expect that. 
So I guess I'll go return. I, I should have been a lot more careful here. Um, I actually think last turn, Spiky Shield and Power Punch would have been like a lot better, to be honest. Um, but that's okay. This is where I am now. Um, so I guess I'll go for the return and the Sword Stance. I need a one turn. I, I don't. I need this meant to sleep for more than one turn, um, or else I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Hmm. Yep. That's what you. That's what I get for like relying on rolls, because now I am definitely not in a good position. Um, Well, at least I didn't get 4 owed, but let's think. Yeah, I was really careless here. I have revealed... I probably just revealed that my garden is max speed, because I think that was a speed tie. Um, and Double Edge comes out into something. Unfortunate, yeah. Did not play this one safe at all. Hmm. So we can't have both. Oh, it could be Scarf, actually. I didn't think about that. Um, I guess he goes Fake Out, or... No, okay. He either goes... Okay, he either goes Fake Out into Kang and Sucker Punch, or Double Edge into Kang, or... I'm really tempted to just do this, even though I know like what's probably coming. That last mon is probably either. Oh, okay. Is it Groudon or Xerneas in back? That's like really valuable, I think. What does he do? Taking a risk. I think there's a chance this is Xerneas in the back. Though, I think Fire Punch would have been better, based on, like, now that I actually think. I think there's also a chance he is bluffing the Fake Out. No, I mean, I think he probably has Fake Out, but I think, like, he's trying to get me to protect my Groudon, so that he can double into my Kang. Oh, yeah, I messed up. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, I should have I should have done this. I should have fire punched. That's the real thing here. If this misses, I'm gonna be in deep trouble. Okay, I do connect, so I'm up three two. But both my Pokemon have just such low HP, and Smeargle is the opportunity to Moody, to Moody. Sorry, um, and a Moody would be like a, a good Moody boost for him would be detrimental for me. Yeah, that's that's Karma. <laughs> okay, that's really bad. And let's see if this is Groudon or Xerneas or Talonflame, or probably Groudon. Yeah. I wonder if there's still a way I can win this one. I guess I just need to hope for Dark Void and missing, which is like really, really lame, to be honest. I don't know even which is like worse. I guess if it's Xerneas, I ought to lose. Yeah, if it's Xerneas, I think I'd definitely lose. I got greedy. I didn't play this game well. I got complacent. I need to focus for game three, probably. I guess, okay, I guess it's thinking about his course of action. I guess it, I mean, I guess it has to be Groudon and he goes press his blade to start void. But he... Ah, without that speed boost, this would be really nice. Um, but that's the way things work. Okay, I guess the only way I win this is if he misses. Do I want to predict Xerneas going for the protect? No, Xerneas can't protect here. I just have to go for it. Yeah. This is really well played by Perengo. He definitely... Like, Smeargle's Zern in the back is something that he probably identified that my team was, like, pretty weak to. Um, yeah, good play by him. Oh, I know what I could have done. Okay, I know what I could have done this game. Okay. 
Darn, a little too late. Um, there is a chance that he goes... Oh, okay, yeah, just Dark Void. So let's see if it misses. It probably doesn't. I mean, 80% on each is, like, pretty good. Yeah, so it does hit both. Um, and this is probably gonna be the game. Let's see if he goes Geomancy or... Um, or... Dazzling Gleam. They're both pretty bad, <laughs> to be honest for me. Um, Groudon sleeps, obviously. I mean, Kangaskhan sleeps. Uh, Dazzling Gleam does come out and he's max speed, so... Yeah. Good game to bring on. Um, definitely max like played his odds well. Um, played well overall, I would say. And yeah, I mean, Smeagol very scary. And I definitely didn't play well at all. <laughs> so that's what you get. Um, I'm gonna take this one to a game three. Unfortunately, I do have to reveal my last mod. I would have preferred not to. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and forfeit here because I don't need to drag this one out. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not surprising that Pringon takes it to a game three. Jeez, yeah. This is just a really scary ar archetype. It's, like, really tough to play against. And I, like, didn't play this one well at all. Um, took too many risks. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. And I will see you for game three.